Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair, and today we're going to talk about Ohm's Resistance Mode on your multimeter. Alright, first and foremost, I have to show you guys how to actually get to Ohm's Resistance Mode on your multimeter. So we've got our Fluke 115 here once again, and if you take a look here and scan the dial, We've got a couple different symbols on here, and we've already gone over a couple of them, so there's only a few left. What we're actually going to be switching to today, like I said, is Ohm's resistance mode. So we're going to go about halfway over, and you're going to see the Ohm symbol. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at your multimeter and find it. Okay, once you've found it, you can continue. Now, with that being said, Ohm's resistance mode is just about as easy as it gets in terms of actually like using a function on your multimeter as a very basic function, and the usage of it is about as easy as dialing into it. So all we're going to need to do a test with this is a resistor. So we've got ourselves a little baby resistor here. It is a 10K ohm resistor, and we're going to check it. We're going to find out if this thing is good or not. Okay. So now that we know what we're doing, let's switch it over to the other camera. And let's take a look-see here. So we've got our little baby resistor right here. We've got our multimeter in ohms resistance mode right here. And before we actually do this, let's take a real short amount of time here and talk about what resistance mode is, okay? Resistance mode is checking the resistance of either a circuit or a component in the circuit line, okay? And resistance itself is the opposition of current in a circuit, okay? Which is also a contributing factor to voltage drop, okay, in a DC circuit specifically, okay. So now that we know what that is and we know how to get there and we've got ourselves a little baby resistor here, we're going to take our two little probes here and once again we are all tied up, so I'm just, there we go. So this is a 10k ohm resistor and we are going to check it now. One probe on one end, the other on the other. Well, how about that? We've got 10.06 kilo ohms. Now, let's see what the little baggie here says that it came in. It says it has a 5% tolerance. Well, looks like we're within 5%. So, I mean, it's, it's really that easy, guys. Um, you know, if you're doing this on the microscopic scale, it is identically the exact same thing. You're just taking your probe and you're putting it on one end, and you're taking the other probe and you're putting it on the other. It's it's that simple so yeah